Last week, in our episode dedicated to extrusion processes, Anne-Sophie Godard explained the interest of innocent functional flowers within this process, but how to meet the challenges of texture and nutrition in extruded products. Let's meet again Anne-Sophie, our R&D expert, to answer our questions. We've talked about the benefits for extrusion processes, but do functional flowers have other benefits for extruded products? Thanks to the heat treatment, the starch of a functional flower is pre-gelatinized, pre-cooked in a way. The use of these flowers allows less energy to be used during extrusion because they will hydrate and develop viscosity more quickly. It will then be easier to work the material in the extruder in terms of cooking and shearing. Expansion will be easier and the shape of the product better controlled. This is the case when you add 3 to 10% of functional flowers in a breakfast type cereal matrix and you obtain a well controlled expansion with a very regular nucleation. This can also be an advantage when ingredients such as whole grains or pulses are used. Indeed, these ingredients are richer in fiber and proteins, which limits the expansion. The fact that these flowers are pre cooked counteracts the negative effects of fibers and proteins to obtain a more expanded finished product better visual and crispier. Also, specific cereal variety can play an important role. As explained in previous video, starch is made of amylose and amylopectin. A flower rich in amylopectin, called waxy, allows to modify the texture of the finished product by bringing more lightness and melt in the mouth. We've seen that functional flowers can therefore improve the processability of the ingredients used in extrusion, as well as the visual and texture of the finished product. But today, the nutritional impact of what we eat is more and more important. This is why many products are developed incorporating whole grains or pulses because they provide fiber and protein and counterbalance the level of carbohydrates and especially sugar. But we asked Anne-Sophie if this demand for healthier products was compatible with extrusion processes. Extrusion is a cooking process without frying and therefore without fat and produces healthier products. However, it is difficult to incorporate these ingredients while maintaining a finished product that is easy to produce, with good expansion and a pleasant texture. So we have developed a range of functional flour based on whole grains and legumes. Nutrition and extrusion are compatible. As an example, if we choose the Innocence Fababin TM40, we combine several benefits. The fababin contains 7.2% fibers and 26.5% proteins. The starch is pre-gelatinized to counteract the inhibiting effect of fiber and protein on the expansion. The granulated flour allow a good flow and a good processability and productivity in the extruder. So using this flour at 90% in a formulation, for example, is possible while obtaining an expanded product with a light and crispy texture, rich in fiber and protein. Thank you very much, Anne-Sophie, for all of this information. As you can see, our functional flowers are easy to use. They can meet expectations in terms of taste and texture while easily adapting to extrusion processes. Plus, they are natural and can be declared as flower, allowing you to have a clean label declaration. To learn more about the use of our functional flowers, join us for an upcoming episode of 3 minutes to understand our functional flowers. Thank you.